guys, welcome back to Digital Slang. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking the Air Pro 3s. And since it is Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. I hope everybody is having a good morning. I'm gonna drop this video at midnight on Christmas morning. So a lot of you might be sleeping, but when you wake up, you're gonna see this video and just want you to know there's a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving this pair here as a Christmas gift to somebody. So if you want to enter the giveaway, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can enter the giveaway. But for now, the Air Pro version three, another super copy. And I did test out a pair similar to this a couple weeks ago. These are going to be slightly different, not a lot different, but slightly different, a better interface, more of a one-to-one -one interface than before. And these are also supposed to have slightly better sound, but we'll, we'll test it, we'll check it out and see if that's really true. But the box itself, picture on the front, and it's really it, nothing else. And then on the back, picture of the pods. But let's open it up. Specs on these guys, Bluetooth 5.0. They do support wireless charging, rename, remap, GPS, the upgraded chip, for the upgraded sound. So we'll check it out. And here we do have the user's manual. Here are the clones. We'll put these aside for now. And we get into the box. And we do have the lightning charger to connect and we also get the extra tips so we do get the extra tips and again attention to detail i like when these clones come out and we do get an exact copy of what we're supposed to get with the real deal so pretty cool we get the extra tips and again that fit is very important for some good sound that's all we get in the box we'll put that aside and we'll take our first look at the air pro threes and these are 37 bucks on AliExpress. I'll drop the link below, but let's take the plastic off and we'll check it out. We're just gonna jump right in and start all the testing. All right guys, so we get our first look at the Air Pro 3s, the upgraded version of the previous model and our port on the bottom to charge, our button on the back, our hinge, and we do have that reverse lid that we do love so much. So attention to detail, it's always a good thing. We're gonna connect them real quick. We open up the lid. We hold the button on the back and we're going to get the real animation, that same animation that we have been getting. So really cool. And I am running the latest iOS beta on here. So, I mean, they're already caught up with iOS, which is impressive. It's, it's crazy how they do that, how they pull that off. So we're all connected. I'm gonna show you some of the cool features with this pair. If we go into settings, we go into Bluetooth of course, you can go in and you can change your name. Right now, we're just gonna leave it as Jeff's AirPods Pro, but noise cancellation off and then transparency. The button does work. Of course, there is no true ANC on here. And press and hold your AirPods, the left and the right. If you press and hold them, you could change it between noise cancellation, transparency, Siri, whatever you wanna do. And automatic ear detection, this button actually does work now. So. It is true in-ear detection and your ear tip fit test. What's cool about this is if you hit continue and you go into the fit test, you hit play, it does play music just like the original for the fit test. And I'm gonna sit here for a few seconds and see what happens, but I'm pretty sure the music just keeps playing. It's not a real ear tip fit test. It's pretty cool that we're there that this does that because before it used to do nothing. You used to hit it and it would do absolutely nothing. So we're gonna just go back. We're gonna start all the testing and I'll show you guys also Find My. You can go into Find My and GPS. It does work, Jeff's AirPods Pro and it's going to come up and there we have it and you can go in and it will play a sound if you lose them. So GPS, rename, remap, all of the good stuff and we're just gonna play some music now and we're gonna start the testing. So sound quality is, is not bad. I think there's more highs with this than anything. I think for me, the, the songs that I've tried, which are bass heavy songs, the highs stand out a little bit more. And this is the first time on a pair of these that I've experienced that. So there's a little more highs, the bass is there, but it's in the background a little bit. So I think the, the vocals are gonna stand out if you like that type of music then these might be a good pickup for you. We're gonna to continue to testing. We're gonna do a mic test. What's going on guys, mic test, the Air Pro V3, another version. These are upgraded and a little different 
we do get some different options and some more things have been turned on like the fit test even though it's not a real fit test we do get more but let me know how this mic sounds if it's comparable to what we've heard before next test we'll try in-ear detection i'll play some music and we'll see if in-ear detection works we hit play it's playing out music pauses plays right away as soon as i put it back in left side pauses back in it plays so in your detection works and now i'm going to go back into settings and we're going to turn this button off automatic ear detection we're going to turn that off and see if that really does work or not so we're going to play music again take out the right side still playing put it back in still playing so that is a true ear detection button in the settings so that's really cool and with these you can use one at a time and i know that because it just worked so with the in-ear detection turned off one was playing in my ear while one was out so very cool we're going to continue the testing we're going to try the touch controls if i hit play now these are the force touch just like the real thing and you do get that same click noise so we'll, we'll try one it does pause hit it again plays left side pauses again plays now two we'll do two force touches Goes to the next track, we'll do it again. Next track, two touches or whatever you want to call it on both buds goes to the next track. So three must go back, we'll try three. Three goes back, let's try the left side. Yep, three goes back, three goes back. So one on each pod will play and pause. Two on each pod will go to the next track and three will go back to the previous track. Now, if you wanted to activate your voice assistant, you this is where you would go in to your settings and press and hold AirPods. You can use the left side to activate Siri or you can use it for noise control and the right side to transparency mode noise cancellation. And since they're not true noise cancellation or transparency modes, we'll just use that for Siri. So both the left and the right, if you press and hold, and we'll just try it right now, we'll press and hold. What's up, Siri? We're gonna do one more test. We're going to check the latency, see if there's any delay between audio and video. So no delay between audio and video, and it's a solid pair of buds. They're pretty good. They're 37 bucks on AliExpress. I'll drop the link below. So that's it, guys. The Air Pro 3 is another super copy, and there's a lot of cool things, right? The, the one con for me is the sound quality. I like a little more bass. These have a little more treble. It's clear, but for me, I'm more of a bass head. Don't take that the wrong way again. I'm more of a bass head when it comes to music than I am the, the highs and the treble. But overall, it's a solid pair. While it's charging... It is true in-ear detection that you can control from the settings. You can play around with the fit test, rename, remap, GPS, all of the good stuff. It all works. And it's a solid pair. 37 bucks. I'll drop the link below on AliExpress. And the giveaway. It is Christmas time, and I hope everybody has a great holiday. If you celebrate, if you don't celebrate, if you celebrate Hanukkah or whatever it is, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. But Merry Christmas, everybody. And to enter the giveaway, I'll leave the link below. It's going to run through Gleam again. It's going to go for a few weeks. But if you just click on the link below, and it'll tell you what you have to do to enter the giveaway. And I just want to bless somebody. You guys are fantastic. You guys have shown digital slang a lot of love. So I just want to give back a little bit here and there when I can. But that's it, guys. That's it for the video. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Peace.